All right, we are making beer bread, which is a actually pretty darn easy recipe, and it's delicious. So you have three cups of self-rising flour. Let me repeat that, self-rising flour. This does not work if you use regular flour. So three cups of self-rising flour, one third cup sugar, and one can of beer. Personally, I recommend lager or pilsner, something light. Don't judge me for using an opener. My nails are trash. Uh, use something light, but it's pretty much whatever. The other ingredient is one stick of melted butter. So, have your beer. And you stir the batter until it's just mixed. And it will be a little stiff. You can use bottled beer, but just make sure you get the right volume as a regular can. When I made this before, when I was working at a fly fishing ranch in eastern Idaho, we used PBR. <laughs> It actually turned out very well. So, all right. So this is like a biscuit recipe or a biscuit consistency. So it's pretty, pretty stiff. Now we have the loaf pan. <clears throat> Pour some butter in the bottom. Put your bread in there, you squish it down. Pour the rest of your butter on top. Do not get carried away about working it down the middle. You're more, it's more important to work it around the sides. Make sure that that's all good. And it is. If you have too much butter in the middle, it will go down the middle <clears throat> and your bread will crack apart after it's cooked. And that's a sad thing. So, now, 350 for one hour. So, we'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, so, after an hour at 350, take it out, let it sit for 10 minutes. And then loosen around the edges and turn it out of the pan. Now, I did not let this set just because I'm an impatient person. But you let it set and cool. And there you have it. I got a little carried away with the butter around the edge. As you can see, but that's okay because, hey, butter is good. And there you go. I know what I'm going to be having for dinner tonight. Um, this goes really good with stew or anything like that. It's good with anything. Um, it also is a very good toast. And it pairs the best with orange marmalade. If you don't like orange marmalade, then there you go. But just saying, it pairs the best with warm marmalade. I think next time I'm going to uh, cut it back a little bit on the butter, but there you go. Mm -mm -mm. Enjoy!